holidays while vegan, especially if you're new to being vegan or plant-based, can be tricky and often really depends on the dynamics and relationships that you have with your family. Some families embrace your newfound change and join in with you. Others shun and ridicule your choices. Some people have family who are uplifting and supportive and kind and open to accommodating you but aren't interested in eating vegan with you. Whatever it is, you can navigate being vegan during the holidays with some simple direction and those whose holiday experiences are less than pleasant have hope that with kindness and respect and being gracious through all things that it will get better over the years. Try to remember that food is so personal to a lot or most people and that while you have had transformation and experiences that have shifted the way that you look at the world and eating animal products, not everyone around us necessarily has. Even though we feel completely changed, we can't forget how everyone looks at the world through a different lens and people think the way that they do for a reason. Generally, most of the time, people are not impacted, influenced, or inspired by being pushed, coerced, or forced into something. Negative or big emotional reactions to try to convince someone to see your point of view generally just pushes them away further, especially when it comes to family. People do not like to be controlled or dictated to. Rather, being a great example of kindness and respect through your own positive actions and transformation and of being a great example can often win people over to at the very least be supportive and respect your choices or even accommodating to you or to join in themselves. But obviously not everyone has it easy when it comes to family, so some situations just might not be ideal. So with that, here are some ways in which you can navigate being vegan during the holidays to make it more comfortable and pleasant and just more enjoyable at mealtime. Okay, the first one is to bring one or two delicious vegan dishes that you can share with everybody at mealtime. Look up some awesome vegan food bloggers with holiday recipes that are sure to crowd please and sure to please everyone at dinner. Often they won't even know the difference that it's vegan. Hot for Food blog has a YouTube channel and has amazing holiday recipes. I highly recommend her channel and specifically her holiday meal recipes are amazing. Highly recommend them to prepare for your family. That way you know for sure you're gonna have at least one or two dishes at the table that are totally vegan and that everybody else can enjoy too. As opposed to just bringing something for yourself to enjoy and isolating yourself around everybody else, bringing a big platter of delicious vegan food for everyone to enjoy makes it just so much more pleasant and enjoyable and like all encompassing for everyone to feel like you're wanting to be included and just share in mealtime together. I've just found that to be more relaxing and pleasant during mealtime and family gatherings if you're bringing something for everyone to share instead of just like trying to bring your own like Tupperware of food to eat on the side. Yeah, it's just it's just not the same. It's so much better to bring a big meal and an awesome vegan dish for everyone to enjoy or two. Next, depending on how close you are with your family or friend hosting a holiday dinner, you can politely offer vegan alternatives to replace the animal products and meals that they're making. So for example, when my mom used to make mashed potatoes at um, holiday dinners with milk and butter, I showed her how simple it was to replace those products with plant milk and vegan butter instead so everyone can enjoy. This also includes suggesting using vegetable broth instead of animal-based broth. Really simple switches that they can make and you can guide them through. And if they're willing to create a whole vegan spread, you can offer to cook with them, you can offer to cook for them, or you can help them create a menu and find the recipes that are plant-based and vegan for everybody to enjoy. Next, when it comes to conversation, I touched on this in the beginning, but always be kind and respectful. Be the bigger person when others aren't showing respect. Often when you first become vegan, some family members or friends might give you a hard time for being vegan. I found it best to politely engage them and not take the remarks so personally or seriously. Remember that nothing anyone does is ever actually about you, it's really about them. So don't take it personally. Show them how you aren't bothered by being different than everyone else at the table and how you really enjoy eating vegan food and are happy to eat this way. So what comes with this is to get informed so you have the confidence and the ability to engage in respectful discourse without getting anxious about it. The more information you have, the easier it is to respond to common naysayer remarks or questions. Earthling Ed has a great series of YouTube videos on his channel about the most common misconceptions about vegans and vegan and he debunks them and eloquently replies and shares how to reply to those misconceptions. So definitely check those out. Set the bar high. So many new vegans, plant-based eaters have a lot of anxiety around the holidays and feel they will have nothing to eat, but your expectation becomes your reality. The reality is when we stand up for what we believe in with grace and respect, wonderful things can happen when we raise the bar a little bit. Something that Colleen Patrick Goudreau said, who is an animal activist that I really like and is my sister's friend, she said something in a video once that I really liked. She said, it's up to us to ask for what we want without placing blame or judgment and without pointing the finger and demanding that the other person understand or change or take responsibility for our needs. So be clear about what you want, but also be flexible and accommodating because 
because if you show that to them, they are more likely to show that back to you. Over the years, it will get more easy and more comfortable and you might just inspire them to eat plant-based or vegan too. Sometimes people might act defensively or make snide comments or remarks simply because you just being there choosing not to eat animals makes them feel uncomfortable. And you know what? Things may come up for you during these times too. Is it impatience? Is it judgment? Is it self-righteousness? Is it fear? You can check yourself and actually grow from the experience as well. Examine your own reactions to help grow and evolve and change to reflect your values. And for me, treating others with respect even if they disagree with me about something is a value of mine. So yeah, those are the ways in which I have found the most helpful to navigate the holidays while being vegan. My personal experience through becoming vegan and what it was like to have that transition with my family over the years. When I first became vegan, I really was plant-based in the beginning because I was doing it really just for my health and I didn't have that ethical connection to the animals or the environment. So it was a simpler transition for me because I didn't have feelings of negativity if other people weren't eating the way that I was eating. My dad was eating paleo at the time when I became plant-based and was eating vegan, but I was very lucky in that my family was very accommodating and very supportive in the beginning. My mom is an amazing cook and loves to be challenged to make new recipes and all different kinds of foods. So she loved making new foods for us and uh, making vegan foods and having vegan options there. And actually not that long into it, maybe a couple years into it or even less than that, if I'm remembering correctly, it's been so long that I've been vegan for 14 years now. We were eating all vegan at holiday meals together when it was just my family. So my mom and my dad, my sister, me, and my husband, who was well, my boyfriend at the time, we would eat all vegan together if it was just us for holidays. But if we had extended family there, I do have some extended family that like don't want to eat totally vegan at holiday meals, but my mom is super, super accommodating and making so many awesome vegan dishes and everything she made was vegan. Actually now, both my mom and my dad are plant-based and it's amazing. So it's all vegan now at this point, unless it's like a big family gathering, which I'm not really there for anymore because we live in Hawaii. Most of the time I'm missing those holiday meals, but every once in a while, depending on the time of year that we visit, that then we do experience holiday meals together. And I'm so thankful that when we do get to together throughout the year with my family. My mom makes it all vegan now and now I'm like amazed at how my mom, my dad went plant-based like a few years ago and now my mom is like just becoming plant-based over all these years and it's so exciting and so awesome that we all eat plant-based together. It's great. And my dad has even recently like I think it was six months ago when I talked to him or maybe a year ago when he was saying how he could see himself um, like not buying leather belts anymore and like really uh, like seeing the perspective that my sister and I have about not buying animal products, extending that outside of our food as well, but in regards to clothing and that type of thing too. So that is really cool. But I'm thankful that even when they weren't eating vegan or plant-based that they were happy to accommodate us. I just have very supportive family in the way that we choose to live our lives and in all the areas that I choose to live my life through like home birthing and homeschooling and all the stuff that's like super not status quo. My family has always been super supportive and trusts us to live a life that's most in alignment to what feels right for our family and is just very supportive. When it comes to Andrew's side of the family, I have wonderful in-laws as well. I am so thankful for them. I know so many people who have a really hard time with their in-laws, but I have had such a wonderful experience. Like his family is the most gracious, loving people I know. They're so wonderful. They eat totally different to us. And in the beginning, so I'll tell you, it, it was a different experience with me eating plant-based in the beginning when Andrew and I were dating than when I became plant-based like around my family. Cause my mom was like super into like, you know, being challenged and making more plant-based meals for us. Even though my dad was like eating paleo, like I said, now my dad's not paleo anymore. He's like totally plant-based and it's amazing. His health has changed dramatically from that switch for sure and gotten like so much better. I really think my sister should make a video with him about that one day. I think that would be so awesome. Dad, if you're watching, which you probably are, you should do that video with Hannah if you want to. Anyways, okay, with my in-laws, like if you know anything about me and Andrew, we've been dating since I was 15 and he was 16 years old. When I became plant-based, I was 19 and and when I would go to their family dinners, their family, I mean, they can totally attest to this, was like so, the meals that I remember was basically like big plates of tri-tip and bowl of mashed potato with butter and cream and like a side of asparagus. So there really wasn't much for me to enjoy when I became plant-based. I decided to bring my own salad at the time. And so that's what I was doing in the beginning. And then I started to bring like bigger salads for everyone to enjoy. And um, that's how it started there. 
And my husband, who was my boyfriend at the time, didn't become plant-based when I was plant-based. He ended up becoming vegan a few years later, or four years later. I kind of forget what the years <laughs> were at this point. But um, at the time, he wasn't eating vegan, so he was like eating everything else with his family. Yeah, there was like a few remarks, but they were all like lighthearted jokes and nothing to be like taken personally. And it was just foreign and different to them, like totally different. Over the years though, the dynamics within his side of the family have shifted so much because his brother ended up marrying someone Someone who is a vegan as well and so when she started dating I think she was vegetarian at the time when she started dating um, his brother so there was already that like understanding of like okay we do know how to like experience family dinners together with um, like a different way of eating and then they started to have like more and more plant food options on the table the more of us that became vegan and plant-based because by that point Andrew had become vegan and um, Andrew's brother's sister became vegan or was vegetarian and then became vegan and then eventually his brother started eating mostly plant-based too. So then we had kids and all that and it's expanded and then now Andrew's other brother and wife started eating plant-based. So, so much a big part of his family, he has two brothers and a sister, so there's four of them. So much of his family started eating plant-based that they started to get creative with what types of family dinners they were gonna have and shifted the way and the type of meals that they were eating. So years later, it turns now into like, okay, it's Mexican night. Let's have everybody bring a different dish and have a big spread that way. So it ends up being almost all vegan at the table now at this point. I don't wanna speak for them, but I do believe that they have been influenced to eat more plants than before. That's my understanding. I think that they would say the same thing too, but I can ask them. Yeah, so if there's Mexican night, we're gonna have like beans that Tessa makes, so that's all vegan. And then Andrew and I will make a rice dish, and then his other brother will make a big bowl of guacamole, and then there's salsas, and then tortillas. And then there ends up being animal products still, but it's a little bit on the side, and it's not the center or forefront of the family meals. So it's really awesome. Awesome. And I'm really thankful for such a huge transition that was compared to the beginning when I first was eating vegan Like such a drastic change where there was really nothing for me to eat in the beginning And I was bringing my own salad or bringing st and then eventually started bringing a bigger salad for people to enjoy with me To what it is now where the majority of the food on the table is vegan And I will say too when Andrew became vegan like three or four years later after I did he would come to the dinners And at that point they were still doing like tri-tip meals for like a little bit into that point and his dad would offer him oh you want some tri-tip Andrew and he's like no dad I'm eating vegan remember and he'll be like oh yeah yeah oh I forgot and then like still other family meals like down the road be like oh do you want some tri-tip Andrew and he's like no dad I'm eating vegan remember and he's like oh yeah like it just took a little time and transition for the smooth and ease of it all but they've always been very supportive and kind and loving and I am so grateful for that because I know that's not the experience of so many people and I think confidence and respectfulness and humble really goes a long way yeah so that's my experience so now we're at a place where like all of our family is just so supportive and accommodating and I'm just really thankful for that and I really hope you guys who are new to eating vegan or plant-based and maybe your family is a little bit resistant to that kind of shift so that there's much for you to enjoy at meals to just remain hopeful that things will get better with respect and as long as you're maintaining um, like kindness and respect for all things and being respectful to them as well you might just inspire people someone in your family like our family has been so inspired both sides of the aisle and you might just inspire them along the way and that's such a smoother more enjoyable transition than having animosity towards people who haven't had the same experiences and worldview shifts that you have so that's just my personal experience that's my take on navigating being vegan during the holidays and I really hope you found this video helpful have a wonderful holiday it is coming up bye <laughs> One more thing I realized that I totally forgot to mention, like my current status and Andrew and I's experience now living in Hawaii and how we deal with holidays and what holidays are like for us now, living far away from our family. Like this whole video was much more about being with family and friends who aren't vegan and what that's like and how to navigate that, but I thought, I should probably share a little bit about like us now for holidays. So when we first moved to Maui, we had only maybe two friends on the island. We really didn't know anybody and it took us a while to make uh, connections with people and to build a community of friendships. So in the beginning, those first few years at certain holiday dinners that we weren't home for the holidays, mainly Thanksgiving and Christmas dinners, we pretty much just made our own food, our own like vegan spread and shared it together, which you know, isn't really as special when you're just by yourselves. And so we only had a few traditional 
additional holiday items for our dinners, you know, rather than making like 10 dishes, it wouldn't really make sense for, you know, our family that was like really small at the time. We only had like Elvis and Sandy even. So after a few years, we started to build up a community and make a lot more friendship connections. And not all of our friends are vegan. Some of our friends are vegan though. And whenever we get together, everyone's really happy and supportive to eat vegan with us. So the last few years or last two years, we did like a really big vegan holiday spread for Thanksgiving and it was so special that, that every single dish at Thanksgiving was totally vegan and like classic holiday food so it was really special and I did a Thanksgiving video last year or the year before I can't remember but I'll put a link below for you to check it out just so you can see all the different awesome vegan dishes we had I'm so thankful that I have such supportive friends that are totally willing and love to eat vegan with us when we're together. So that's something that I hosted at our house, that Andrew and I hosted at our house um, the last couple of years. And it's really just a testament to like a transformation that you can have over the course of your life and how seven years ago when we moved here, we only had a couple of friends and there was really no community that we were a part of or connected with. But over the years, seven years later, we have a lot more friends. We have built a community. We have friends who are vegan, friends who are not but everyone is supportive and respectful and loving and loves to eat plant foods and so that's how we experience the holidays while we're here on the island when we don't have like family on the island because our family lives in California so I'm really thankful for that I'm thankful for our wonderful friends and the connections that we have and the awesome holiday dinners that we get to share together and that we have so many awesome vegan meals okay now I'm really gonna end the video and I will see you next time